Um, so in that paper we investigate using an event, event study method the impact of democratic transitions and autocratic transitions on uh, institutional outcomes. So what we mean by institutional outcomes is uh, uh, outcomes such as corruption, uh, rule of law, uh, bureaucratic quality and the like. Uh, uh, and what we observe basically is, is that there are uh, two uh, dimensions of the institutional framework that react to uh, democratic transitions. Those are um, uh, government stability. Uh, after four or five years, it, it goes up significantly and remains higher uh, until uh, the end of our window. So uh, government instability improves, which means that instability goes down uh, after a few years. and. We, we can observe that effect until the end of our window of, of study, and so until 10 years, and we don't know what happens afterwards, but the odds are that the impact is still positive. Uh, and we, we observe that the, the role of the military in politics goes down almost immediately after the um, democratic transition, uh, and the effect is still observable f five years after the transition, and then vanishes, it becomes too, too blurred in the data. And we also observe uh, that a lot of outcomes, of in institutional outcomes, do not react in a significant way uh, to democratic transitions. So, for instance, corruption does not change significantly after transitions. The rule of law remains the same. Uh, bureaucratic, bureaucratic efficiency remains the same. Uh, I mean, they, we, we, we can observe no significant effect in the statistical um, meaning of the term, which means that there are too much heterogeneity in what we observe. So there is no nothing that would look like uh, some kind of average pattern. We can, we, we can find an average pattern uh, for uh, government stability, for military and politics, but not, not, nothing like that for uh, uh, the other outcomes.